Okay, let's take a quick look at dividing fractions. Um, and this is going to help you with problems 38 and 39 in the test packet. I know we have not gotten there yet. We're almost there. Um, so we're just going to do a really quick lesson on this, but again, we'll get more in the next uh, couple of days on how to do this. So if you remember from memory work, we said that um, when dividing fractions, keep the first fraction the same, change the sign from divide to multiply, flip the second fraction. Um, and so we're just going to use that again. We don't know why that's true. Um, we haven't really seen what that looks like, but I'll just explain it briefly here just to help you with those two problems. And then again, we'll see it in, uh, in the coming days. All right, so let's say we had something like 3 fourths divided by um, 2 fifths. All right, so keep change flip says keep the first fraction the same. So I'm going to write it as 3 fourths. Change the sign from divide to multiply and flip the second fraction. What that means is that you just turn it upside down. This becomes a 5 and this becomes a 2. So it was 2 fifths and what it's going to do is it's going to flip and come down here in the reversed uh, order. So the denominator becomes the numerator and the numerator becomes the denominator. And then we just multiply. All right. so again 3 times 5 is 15, 2 times 4 is 8. That gives us an improper fraction. Uh, and so we would change that. This would become 1 and 7 eighths. All right, let's do another one, uh, one where we might have to cancel first. So let's say instead of 3 fourths times 2 fifths, this time we take 3 fourths times, um, let's say, uh, 9 sixteenths. Sorry, and that should not be times. It should be divide. All right, so again, we use keep, change, flip. We're going to keep the 3 fourths the same, change the division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. So this is going to become 16 ninths. Now, again, we've talked about multiplying uh, across. You could just do 3 times 16 is 48. 9 times 4 is 36. And then reduce, and notice that both of these have a 12 in it. So that would go in four times, that would go in three times, that would be four thirds. Again, improper fraction, that would be one and one third. Or, let me do it again, I'm just going to rewrite this. Three fourths times sixteen ninths. We could cancel first. Again, um, we could say, oh, I noticed that in this three and the nine, that there is a three, so three goes into three once, three goes into nine three times. And in this, we have a four, so four goes into four once, four goes into 16 four times. <clears throat> and it becomes four thirds, which is one and one third. Okay, so again, dividing fractions is pretty easy. What we're gonna do uh, later is talk about why this works. Um, but for right now, all you need to know is that when you're dividing fractions, keep change flip. Keep the first fraction the same, change the sign from divide to multiply, flip the second fraction. Don't forget to reduce either uh, before or after uh, and make sure that you convert your improper fractions back into mixed numbers. Okay, that's it.